Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Shea Stadium. This is Game 4 of the 2000 World Series between the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. The, the Yankees lead the series two games to one, and if you want to know how those games went, I suggest you actually go ahead and watch my first three uh, previews of, of, that, of those exciting games. They were actually were pretty good. We are back here at Shea Stadium for Game 4. The Mets need to win this game to tie the series up at two games apiece. If not, the Yankees can win it today and clinch it in Game 5. It's not a bad night. It's a, night, it's a very clear night at Shea Stadium. The wind blowing in from left center field at 6 miles an hour. So we're going to see what the Mets are capable of doing in this game to see if we can tie the series up. The starting pitcher for the Mets today is going to be Al Leiter. He pitched game one beautifully. He pitched game one, so he's going to go here for game four. The Yankees are going to credit are going to go with Andy Pettit in game four to see if the see if they can go ahead and hold it. And we know how good Pettit how good a pet pitcher Pettit was. Although 2000 wasn't one of his better years. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the 2000 New York Yankees. Derek Jeter leads off. Paul O'Neill will bat second. David Justice bats third. Jorge Posada fourth. Bernie Williams will bat fifth. Tino Martinez sixth. Scott Brosius is seventh. Jose Fiscaino is eighth. And Pettit is bat ninth. I am not using the actual lineups. I'm trying to change history here. So in order to change history, you got to make some changes. Take a look at the starting defense for the New York Mets. We have Todd Zeal at first base. Edgardo Alfonso at second. Mike Bordick is the shortstop. Robin Ventura is at third. Bubba Trammell will be playing left field in this game. Jay Payton in center. Derek Bell in right. Behind the plate is Mike Piazza. And on the mound for his second game of the series will be Al Leiter. Al Leiter, 16-8 and eight with, for, with a 3.2 ERA in the year 2000. But he got a no decision in the first game of the series. He did pitch six innings and gave up six hits, one walk, but had eight strikeouts. So if the Mets can try to get the series tied up, I think Al Leiter is the pitcher to go ahead and do it. He can only throw 90, so I'm hoping he might be able to go at least five or six innings to get the, to get the job done. Top of inning number one, leading off for the Yankees, will be Derek Jeter. He is having an unbelievable series, batting 7 for 11 with a 636 batting average. I can tell if he will be the series MVP already if, if the Yankees already end the series. Let's go. Here's the first pitch. And it's a deep fly towards right, but Derek Bell makes the catch on the track for out number one. Here's Paul O'Neill. He's 3 for 14 for the Yankees in this series. O'Neill hits one to center. Peyton puts it away for the out, two down. And now we'll see David Justice. Justice having a tough series, 2 for 12. Here's the pitch from Leiter. Foul territory. Piazza calling for it. And he got it. So a nice quick inning for Al Leiter. We go to the bottom half of the first. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the New York Mets. Bell will lead off. Peyton batting second. Alfonso third. Piazza bats fourth. Robin Ventura will bat fifth. Todd Zeal will bat sixth. Alan Trammell will bat seventh. Mike Bordick bats eighth. And, of course, Leiter will bat ninth. Defensively for the New York Yankees, Tino Martinez at first base. Jose Vizcaino at second. Derek Jeter, the shortstop. Scott Brocious is the third. David Justice in left. Bernie Williams in center. Paul O'Neill is in right. Jorge Posada behind the plate. And making his pitching debut in the 2000 World Series will be Andy Pettit. 4.35 ERA, 19 wins, 9 losses, 125 strikeouts, but he gave up 219 hits. Andy Pettit. For those of you who are watching, Give me a comment. Should Andy Pettit be in the Hall of Fame? He had an awesome career with the Yankees, and a lot of people are wondering why he's not in there. I mean, when you had Mike Mussina and Andy Pettit, it's really, really close. I, it could be, I, 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 I actually think Pettit might really should be in there, and I think one of these days he is. Bottom of the first leading off is going to be Derek Bell. He's 1-for-11 for this series. Here's the pitch to Bell. 
she guessed wrong on that pitch. One out. Here's Jay Payton. Payton having a good series. Four for nine. He's got a double. And he scored four times. Batting 444. Here's the pitch to Payton. And he walks him. So Payton goes to first. And now we'll see Edgardo Alfonso. Alfonso having an awesome series. Batting six for 12. Two doubles, a homer, four runs batted in. And he scored three times. Alfonso is one of the key reasons why the Mets are still in it. Here's the pitch to Alfonso. Peyton goes back, and they have him picked off for the out. Andy Pettit is thro throws out Peyton at first base and clears the bases. I don't know why. I didn't have. I did not have Peyton ready to steal. So now there's two outs, and Alfonso will, will bat up. And Pettit gets the strikeout and ends the inning. So it looked like it could have been interesting, but that's all she wrote. We go to the top of inning two. It'll be Jorge Posada leading off for the Yankees. He's having a good series. Five for 12, a double, two RBIs, two runs scored. Batting 417. Here's the pitch from Leiter. Line towards third, Ventura makes a great leaping catch. One out. We'll see Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams having an excellent series. Batting five for 11 with two doubles. Three RBIs and three runs scored. He's batting 455. There's the pitch from Leiter. Fly deep to left center. It is to the warning track. And he can't, and Trammell races back there. He can't come up with it. It's going to be extra bases. Bernie Williams will hold it second with a double. So runner at second base for Tino Martinez. Batting 273, 3 for 11. He's got two doubles, two RBIs, and scored a run. Runner at second base. Here's the pitch to Martinez. Popped it up towards second. Alfonso's measuring it. And he puts it away. Two down. Batter now will be Scott Brocious. Brocious not doing too great. One for 10. But he does have a run batted in, and he scored once. Al Leiter checks the sign. Here's the pitch to Brocious. And it's a line drive down the line at first. It's a fair ball. It's in the corner, and it goes all the way to the fence. Williams will score. And Brocious has a stand-up double, and the Yankees jump out in front, 1-0. So here I am saying Brocious is not having a great series, and he goes ahead and shuts me up. Here's Jose Vizcaino. He's having a good series, 4 for 9, batting 444. Two runs scored and a stolen base. There's the pitch to Vizcaino from Leiter, and he struck him out. So one run, two hits, no errors. New York Yankees won, Mets nothing, bottom of the second. And here's Mike Piazza for the Mets. If there is a guy that's having a horrible series, it's him. Mike Piazza's 0 for 11, batted 324 in the year 2000. And he has one RBI, and that was on a sacrifice fly, and that is all he has. So Mike Piazza will come up there and try to end the slump. Here's the pitch from Pettit. It's a Texas leaguer to right. It's a base hit. And Mike Piazza is off the schneid. He'll go to first and hold. And now a chance for Robin Ventura, who's also having a horrible series. He's 0 for 10. So now if Piazza's on first, can Ventura, could this be the game that Ventura breaks through? Here's the pitch to Ventura. Roll down the third base line. Brocious will throw to Vascaeno. Over to Martinez. And Ventura beat the relay. It's a fielder's choice. So Ventura on it first with one out now. And now here's Todd Zeal. Zeal, three for 11 with a double, two homers, and four RBIs. He scored three times. Todd Zeal having a pretty good series. Ventura on it first. Here's the pitch to Zeal. Hits a grounder between first and second. Vizcayano to Jeter. Jeter over to Martinez, and that should do it for the inning. No runs, a hit, no errors. Still 1-0 Yankees to go to the top of inning three. And leading off for the Yankees will be Andy Pettit. Pettit making his first appearance in the series at the plate. Here's the pitch from Leiter. Swing and a miss, strikeout. That's Al Leiter's second strikeout of the game, and now we'll see Derek Jeter 
He is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch from Leiter. A broken bat looper to left. That falls. Trammell got a late jump on it. He tosses it back into the infield, but Jeter has another base hit. He is absolutely destroying the Mets single-handedly. Here's Paul O'Neill for the Yankees. 0 for 1. Jeter on it first. O'Neill line shot to right. That is going to be a base hit. Bell comes in. Jeter goes to second, and he'll stay there. So one out. Runners at first and second now for Justice. Al Leiter taking a look into the into the into the dugout, wondering how long he can go. He's already he's already up to his pitch count, over half his pitch count already, and we're only in the third inning. Here's the pitch to David Justice. Justice is 0 for one. Justice was fooled on that one strikeout. Third K for Al Leiter. And now we'll see Posada. Posada's 0 for 1. Jeter on it second. O'Neill on it first. Here's the pitch. It's a fly ball to left center. But Trammell gets under it and he makes the catch. Still 1 0 Yankees, bottom of the third. And Bubba Trammell will make an appearance his first time in the game, Bubba Tr in the series. Bubba Trammell batted 232. In 2000, he had three home runs, 12 RBIs. Here's the pitch to Trammell. And that's a walk. So a leadoff walk to Trammell, and the Mets get the leadoff base runner. Trammell's got a little speed, and we'll see Mike Bordick. Bordick was off to a slow start, but then he picked it up. He's 3 for 11, batting 273, has an RBI and a run score. Trammell is a stealing threat. There's the pitch to Bordick, and he walks him. So Andy Pettit now walks runners at first and second, and now the batter is Al Leiter. Leiter is going to have to bunt this one. Corners are in, and here's a sacrifice bunt, and it's bunted in front of the plate. The only play is the first, the sacrifice is successful, and the runners advance. Runners at second and third with one out, and now Derek Bell comes up for the Mets. He's 0 for 1 today. Here's the pitch from Pettit. It's drilled towards left, and that's a base, and, it's, and Justice will make the catch. Trammell cannot score. Should have been a sacrifice, but Justice got to it, and Bordick had to go back to second, and Trammell does not move, was not deep enough. And now it's up to Jay Payton. Payton walked his last time up. Runner still at second and third, but now two outs. Here's the pitch to Payton. It's, a, it's rolled out into the outfield for a base hit. Trammell will score. Bordick coming home. He scores, and the Mets take the lead on Jay Payton's two RBI single. Payton holds it first. What a great hit by Payton. To score the two runs and the Mets take the lead. And now Edgardo Alfonso will bat. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch to Alfonso. Peyton is on it first. And Peyton is safe on a close call as, he's, as they think he's a stealing threat and I'm not stealing with him. So here's the pitch to Alfonso. It's a deep down the left field line and it is off the fence. Peyton rounds third. He's going for home. There won't be a throw from David Justice. Alfonso with a double, and the Mets now lead 3-1. to one. Edgardo Alfonso and Jay Peyton come through with some big hits off of Andy Pettit. And now here's Piazza. One for one as he got his first hit of the series today. Can Piazza get another one? Alfonso won its second. The fans here at Shea are going are very, very happy right now. At least the ones that are wearing blue and orange. The ones that are wearing navy blue and white, a little disappointed so far. But we know that this Yankees team is capable of scoring a lot of runs. Piazza at the plate. He's one for one. There's the pitch from Pettit. Posada's going to go talk to him. And now the pitch. It's popped up. Posada measuring for it. Foul ball. Piazza will get another chance. Here's the pitch from Pettit. 
It's a deep fly to left center, but Justice puts it away to retire the side. Three runs, two hits, no errors. Mets three, New York Yankees one. We go to the top of inning four. Bernie Williams will bat for the Yankees. He's one for one with a double. Here's the pitch from Leiter. The line drive towards third, and Ventura makes the catch. One down. Nice play by Robin Ventura. And that was a liner. That was screamed right at him, as a matter of fact. Here's Tino Martinez. He's 0 for 1. Pitch from Leiter. That's a fly ball to right. Derek Bell. He got it measured and catches it. Two down. And now Scott Brocious, who shut me up in the last inning. One for one with a double and an RBI. Here's the pitch from Leiter. Fly towards left center. Peyton has it and puts it away to retire the side. And if you're the Mets, that's exactly what you wanted. You go ahead and you don't allow any runs in the next inning. Still 3-1, bottom of the fourth. Robin Ventura will bat for the Mets. He's 0 for 1. Mets scored three runs in the third. We'll see if the Mets can get some more. Here's the pitch to Ventura. A fly ball to right center. <laughs> makes the catch, one down. And now we'll see Todd Zeal. Zeal is 0 for 1. Pettit on the mound. Here's the pitch to Zeal. And it's grounded to Martinez at first, and he finally drops it. Does he still make the play? No, it's an error on Tino Martinez. Zeal will hold it first, and the Mets get a break. First error of the game on the Yankees. And the batter now will be Bubba Trammell. Trammell walked his last time up. Zeal on it first. Here's the pitch to Trammell. It's a deep fly ball. Justice makes the catch. And Zeal will hold at first base for the second out. And now we'll see Bordick. Bordick walked his last time up. Here's the pitch to Bordick. Broler to Brocious the third. He should make the play. Throws to first. Should be in time. And it is. Four are complete. Still 3-1 Mets. We go to the top of inning five. Jose Vizcaino leads off for the Yankees. Al Leiter probably might be his last inning. Vizcaino at bat. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. A rope towards right. But Derek Bell makes the catch. One out. The Yankee pitcher Andy Pettit will now come up to bat. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch from Leiter. Struck him out. And that is the fourth strikeout by Al Leiter. And now here's Jeter. Jeter, one for two, batting 6.15 for the series. Here's the pitch to Jeter. Grounder back to the mound. Leiter throws to Zeal, and that will end the side. Bottom half of inning five. Still 3-1. Al Leiter is scheduled to bat. We'll see a pinch hitter for him. Andy Pettit, he is a lefty, so in this case, you want to bring in a righty. And coming into bat for the New York Mets will be Benny Agbayani. He's two for 15 with the number and two on the eyes. Here's the pitch to Agbayani. It's a frozen rope hugging the third base line. Fair ball. It rattles around in the corner. Agbiani's going for two. He will make it. It's a stand-up pinch hit double for Andy for Benny Agbiani. What a great hit that was. Nobody out. Leadoff runner at second. The batter now is Derek Bell. I guess Benny was pissed that I took him out of the game for Bubba Trammell. Derek Bell comes up. He's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch to Bell. Bell cuts at it, and it's a strikeout. And now Jay Payton, so far one of the heroes for the Mets today. One for one, two RBIs, and a run scored. Agbiani on its second. Here's the pitch to Payton. A shallow fly to left center. Bernie Williams makes the grab. Two down. 
And now Alfonso, who's one for two. Runner still at second, but now two outs. Here's the pitch. It's a fly ball towards right. And O'Neill doesn't even have to move. Five in the books, still 3-1 Mets. We're going to go to the top of inning six. And we'll see who we uh, put in there to take over. John Franco and Bobby Jones pitched the last game. So I pretty much have to bring in somebody who hasn't pitched yet. I'm going to do a double switch and move Benny Adbayani into left field over Bubba Trammell. And coming into pitch now for the New York Mets will be Rich Rodriguez. In the year 2007.78 ERA, no wins and a loss. But hopefully Rodriguez can pitch a decent inning and just try to keep it good for the bullpen in 7-8-9. and nine. But we're in the top of inning six, and Paul O'Neill leads off for the Yankees. He's, he's one for two. Fly to center and line to single. Here's the pitch to O'Neill. Strikeout, big strikeout by Rich Rodriguez. And now David Justice comes up to bat. He's 0 for 2. Rodriguez gets this call from Piazza. And here's the pitch to Justice. And it's a walk. And unfortunately, Rodriguez has a 2.0 whip. So he usually allows two base runners every time he pitches. Jorge Posada will now come up. He's 0 for 2. Posada is 0 for 2. And here's the pitch to Posada. It's a bulk, and Justice will go to second. And now with Posada still at the plate, and 0 for 2. With one ball and two strikes. Aggressive, here's the pitch. Base hit towards short. Justice rounds third, but holds. And now runners at the corners with an out, and here's Bernie Williams. So Rodriguez gets a quick out, but he can't seem to get he can't seem to get Posada or Justice. And now the batter is Bernie Williams, who's one for two. Bernie Williams' average is a little bit lower against lefties, so Rodriguez is gonna pitch. Here's the pitch to Williams. Piazza's gonna go talk to him. See if it helps. Here's the here's the throw. It's a line shot down the left field line. It rolls all the way to the corner, and it's going to be a score. Justice will score. Posada holds up at third. Bernie Williams with an RBI double. It's now 3-2. to two. And the batter now is Tino Martinez. They're going to win 10. Tino Martinez is the batter. And we'll see another, and we're going to go to the bullpen here. Bring in a righty. Coming into pitch for the Mets again will be Rick White. 81.0 ERA for the playoffs. We'll see if Rick White can get a couple of outs here. Runners at second and third, one out. Here's the pitch to Martinez. Hits it on the ground down the third base line. Out chance 27%. No. Throw and get the out. They'll allow the tying run to score. Martinez will be thrown out. Posada does score, and we're tied at three. And I believe that was the right call. Here's Scott Brocious. One for two with the double. Here's the pitch from Rick White. Line to left. Agbiani coming on quickly. He has to try to make the dive. He tries to dive. He can't come up with it. It's a base hit. Williams will score. It's a single. And the Yankees take the lead 4-3 to three as the Met bullpen can't, cover, can't do the job. 
Jose Vizcaino will now bat for the Yankees. Runner at first base for Brocious. Here's the pitch to Vizcaino. Grounded back to Bordick. He throws to Alfonso, and the inning is done. Three runs, three hits, no errors. New York Yankees four, Mets three. Bottom half of inning six. Mike Piazza will bat for the Mets. He is one for two. With that inning, Andy Pettit might have gotten off the hook so far, but we'll see if the Mets can get, get it back. 4-3 Yankees. Here's the pitch to Piazza. Slap grounder to Sheet to Jeter, who easily throws him out at first, one out. And now Ventura, who's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch to Ventura. Just catches the outside corner, strikeout. That is the fourth K for Pettit, and now Todd Zeal, who's 0 for 2. Pitch to Zeal. It's a deep fly ball to right center, but Bernie Williams will make the catch and end it. Still 4-3 Yankees, top of inning seven. Coming on to pitch for the New York Mets will be Dennis Cook. Point one inning pitch, he's given up two hits, but he has a strikeout. This is gonna pitch to the two lefties in the starting of the order. And Andy Pettit is the leadoff batter for the Yankees. Question is, is he gonna bat? Nope. Coming on to pinch hit for the Yankees will be Clay Bellinger. He's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Cook. Deep fly ball. But Agbiani is under it, and he catches it for the out. One down. And now Derek Jeter, who's absolutely killing the Mets. He's 1 for 3 today. Here's the pitch to Jeter. Bullet to right center. It drops in for a hit. Peyton throws. Jeter slides. Safe. Double. Just like that. Derek Jeter, another hit. He gets into second base. And now here's Paul O'Neill, who's one for three. Here's the pitch to O'Neill. It's a liner to center. That's a base hit. It falls in. Peyton will play it on the hop. Jeter will score from second, and it's now five to three Yankees. So Paul O'Neill brings in another run. And now the batter is David Justice. Here's the pitch from Cook. Piazza's going to go talk to him. And the pitch. Deep fly ball to center. Peyton's got it. And that's the second out. O'Neal goes back to first. And now we'll see Jorge Posada, who's one for three. Here's the pitch from Cook. It's a steal attempt, but O'Neal is safe at second. So Dennis Cook will try it again. Posada, one for three. Here's the pitch to Posada. And it's a walk. So now runners at first and second. Bernie Williams is the batter. Coming on. Coming on to pitch for the Mets now will be Bobby Jones. Try to get out Bernie Williams. There's Bobby Jones. No ERA so far. He's pitched two innings. He's got four Ks. Here's the pitch to Williams. Shallow fly ball to left. Agbayani makes a great play and puts it away. But the Yankees get some runs. One run, two hits, no errors. New York Yankees five, Mets three. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning, and now pitching for the Yankees will be Jason Grimsley. Grimsley got shellac pretty much his last time out. No wins, a loss, one save, though. He's given up two hits, three Ks. The Mets will have to bring in a pinch hitter for Jones. Jason Grimsley is the batter. Coming on to pinch it for the Mets will be Lenny Harris. He's 0 for 1 for the series so far. Here's the pitch from Grimsley. Brown ball between first and second. Lenny Harris has himself a base hit. He'll hold it first. And now a chance for Mike Bordick. 
Bordick coming up to bat. And because I did the double switch, I got Bordick, and then I got Adbayani ready to come up there to bat, as well as Bell. Harris on at first. Bit of a stealing threat, but he's going to hold. Bordick is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. It's a grounder, and that goes through the infield for a base hit. Harris will hold it second, will not test the arm. Runners at first and second, nobody out. And now here's Benny Agbiani, one for one, who had a pinch hit double to bring in a couple of big runs in the third. Now again in a big, in a big chance. Runners at first and second, no outs. Bottom of the seventh, five, three Yankees, but the Mets are threatening. Agbiani at the plate. Here's the pitch. A shallow fly ball down the left field line. Justice puts it away for the out. One away, and now Derek Bell. He's 0 for 3 and 1 for 14 for the series. Jason Grimsley for the Yankees, trying to keep it close. Here's the pitch from Grizzly to Bell. Deep fly ball down the left field line. But Justice puts it away. Harris will go to third, and he'll make it. So now runners at first and third with two outs. The batter now is Jay Payton. He's one for two. Two RBIs. Can the Mets get anything out of here? Payton at the plate. Here's the pitch from Grimsley. It's a hard smash to Martinez who puts it right in there. Martinez didn't even have to move. He just put his glove up and the ball wound up in it. Side retired. No runs, two hits, no errors. Still 5-3 Yankees. We go to the top of inning eight. The Mets will have to go to the bullpen. Coming on to pitch for the New York Mets will be Pat Mahomes. He pitched one inning and had three walks and a K so far in this series. Leading off for the Yankees, Tino Martinez. 0 for 3 today, 3 for 14. Here's the pitch from Mahomes. A fly ball towards left center. Peyton puts it away, one down. And now Scott Brocious having a great day today. Two for three with a double and two RBIs. Here's the pitch from Mahomes. Line to center. Peyton didn't have to move. He puts it away, two down. And now Jose Vizcaino, who's 0 for three. Here's the pitch to Vizcaino. Shallow fly ball to center. Peyton's got it and a very nice inning by Pat Mahomes, and the Yankees are set down in order. Bottom of the inning number eight, new pitcher for the Yankees, and it's going to be Jeff Nelson. He's making his first appearance in the playoffs in this series. Nelson was eight and four, 2.45 ERA. Edgardo Alfonso leads off for the Mets here in the bottom of the eighth. Here's the pitch to Alfonso. Struck him out, one down. And now Mike Piazza, who's one for three today, finally got his first hit. Here's the pitch to Piazza. He strikes out, two down, and now Robin Ventura. 0 for three, and he's still looking for his first hit of the series. Here's the pitch. And he strikes out the side. Jeff Nelson comes in and just destroys the Mets. Still 5-3, top of inning nine. Pat Mahomes will stay on the mound, and leading off for the New York Yankees will be Chuck Knobloch, making his first appearance of the series. Chuck Knobloch, 283 average, five home runs, 26 runs batted in. He had 400 at bats. A little surprising. A little surprising that Knobloch is not at second base. A little surprising there, actually. Mahomes gets the pitch. There's the pitch from Mahomes. And he walks him. So Knobloch goes to first. And now here's Derek Jeter. Runner at first base. Here's the pitch to Jeter. He's two for four. Flyed out, single, grounded, and double. Here's the pitch to Jeter. Grounder back up the middle, Bordick to Alfonso, over to Zeal. 
That's going to be a double play. And Pat Mahomes gets some defense. And now here's Paul O'Neill for the Yankees. Here's the pitch. Weak fly ball to right center. Derek Bell will make the catch and will end the inning. Nothing across. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. And yes, there he is, Mariano Rivera. That ERA of 2.85, seven wins, four losses, 36 saves. The greatest closer in baseball history. And the only player ever to receive 100% of the vote in the Hall of Fame. Which still, that is the more surprising thing as I don't know how some of the other players didn't get 100% of the vote. I don't get it. But Mario Rivera certainly did. And of course, and of course, who wouldn't be surprised, you know, who's next? Todd Zeal will lead off the, for the Mets here in the bottom of inning nine. Zeal is 0 for 3. Mets got to get something here or they're going to be facing elimination in game five. Here's the pitch to Zeal. And he walks him. So Zeal gets a leadoff walk. He goes to first. Pat Mahomes is scheduled. And we'll see a pinch hitter. Coming on to pinch hit for the Mets will be Timo Perez. It's two for nine for the series. He has a double and a run score. Matt Rivera on the, on the mound. Seal on it first. Tying runs at the plate. Here's the pitch to Perez. Ground ball back up the middle. Throws one, throws two. And that is not in time. It's a fielder's choice. Perez beats the throw to first base. But now one out, a runner still at first. And now the batter is boarding. He's one for two. Here's the pitch from Rivera. Try chopper down the third base line. Brosh is his only play at the first base. And they get Bordick. Perez goes to second. And now it's up to Benny Agbiani. One for two with the double. Rivera on the mound. Agbiani is the tying run. The runner at second doesn't mean anything, so Rivera will concentrate on Benny. Here's the pitch, and it's a walk, and the game will continue. And now Derek Bell, who is 0 for 4 today. And he's in right field, and can I bring in a pinch hitter for him? He's 0 for 4. And the Mets are going to go ahead and bring in Todd Pratt to pinch hit. Todd Pratt will pinch hit. He batted 275. Runners at first and second, two outs. Bottom of the ninth. Here at Shea Stadium. The blue and orange and the navy and the navy blue and white are on their feet. Pratt at the plate. Here's the pitch from Rivera. Posada's gonna go talk to him. Here's the pitch. And he walks him. And now the tying run is at second base and the batter is Jay Payton. So Mariano Rivera has walked three batters in this inning with two outs. And now here's Jay Payton, one for three. Two RBIs and a run score. The tying run is at second base. Agbiani has got good speed at a five. And they're going to put in Joe McEwing at second. So a base hit should bring in a run, should bring in both runs. Joe McEwing is a seven on the 
Mariano Rivera gets the sign for Posada. Bases loaded. Jay Payton, one for three. Five, three Yankees, bottom of the ninth. Payton walked, grounded a second between third and short. Flied to shallow left and lined to first. Rivera gets the sign. Here's the pitch to Payton. Posada's gonna go talk to him again. And now the pitch. And it's grounded to, it's grounded to Brocious. He throws the knob block at second, and that ends the ball game. And the game is over, and the Mets are going to go down in the series three games to one. A great baseball game, actually, but the Mets come up a little short. The Golden Bat Award for the Yankees is kind of tough, but I guess I'll give it to Bernie Williams. He was two for four with two doubles today. Pettit gets the win. Rich Rodriguez picks up the loss for the Mets. Rivera picks up the save, a couple of holes for Grimsley and Nelson. But that is all, as the Yankees down the Mets 5-3, to three, and now the Mets are down three games to one. With the final game coming, with made with game five scheduled for the next for tomorrow, so it's New York Yankees three, New York Mets one. After four, game five is coming up, and I'll see you then for next time. Can I can I stave off? A, remember, in the actual World Series, the Yankees did beat the Mets in five games. Can I at least stave off in elimination and send it back to Yankee Stadium for a game six? We shall find out. Until then, this is Art. This is Robert saying good night, everybody. I'll see you next time for Action PC Baseball.